right, I'm here at the American River, just upstream of the Red Bridge in Fair Oaks. This is my hood, this is where I grew up. This river means a lot to me. Dad was a whitewater river guide. So I grew up on the American River doing the rougher parts of it. This isn't that part, this is a stretch that goes through Sacramento suburbs of like Fair Oaks, Rancho Cordova, Carmichael. If you're from Sacramento, you, you know what's up. It eventually meets up uh, with the Sacramento River, which is a much, much bigger watershed. But the American River is no joke. It has many forks and it's world-class like whitewater rafting, amazing fishing. So I got certified as a diver when I was 16. One of the first things I did is I scraped all my money together to buy all my own equipment. It was all like super funky 80s vintage dive equipment. I'd go right underneath this big, beautiful bridge right here. Uh, it's actually pretty deep. Luckily, because there's a spot where everybody jumps off the bridge. And I would bring the old dive camera. Which, let me get right here. I just happened to have it in the truck because I just did the Amador Lake shoot yesterday with my cousin Ian. So, so I would go diving in this river with this camera and I would see all sorts of amazing stuff. Problem is, this was many, many years ago. This is pre-YouTube. This is pre-cell phones. I mean, pretty much. The like YouTube kind of trope now made famous by people like JT Almighty and stuff, like being the treasure hunter, and going and looking for cell phones, iPhones and GoPros and everything else. That was non-existent. What I would find is like knives, bullets, guns, and I'd return the guns. All sorts of random stuff. There used to be a toilet, an engine, uh, shopping carts, bikes, you name it. A lot of people just throw stuff off the footbridge here. But I'd cruise around with this and I'd make all these videos back then internet speed and everything else. It was so hard to upload something huge like that. And when YouTube came around, I just didn't really think about it. So I'm kind of digging out these old scuba videos of mine and decided to, you know, the fairly good ones, I'll post them up as a what lives down there vintage. And that's what we are doing today. One of these days soon, I'll come back down here and dive here. I'm just passing through town today, but I can't wait to actually come back out here and try to dive it. I'm gonna say this much. The bottom topography has changed dramatically as you're about to see in this video coming up. Right behind me used to be just forest, just groves of uh, water weed, all sorts of different types of freshwater plants. And you could swim through these valleys of all these plants, and it was amazing. Loud Canadian geese. That's all gone, it appears. At least not with what I can see right here. It used to all be right here. And that's just what happens. You know, aquatic systems are dynamic environments. They change. They change within a week. They change within a month. The last time I was diving here was probably 15, maybe almost 20 years ago. I got the GoPro in the water right now because I saw some fry, some kind of salmon in. So who knows what it could be. This is a huge salmon river. So they're probably salmon fry. It could also be steelhead. It could also just be rainbow trout. Um, but it definitely looks like a, a salmon in. Hopefully I'm getting some cool footage right now. There's some shallows here in this kind of little rocky area. The American River is actually pretty clear even this far up, or actually this far down. But as you go further and further up north above the dams, the water becomes much, much clearer and becomes really warm. There's some amazing spots I like to get up. Auburn area, Colfax, up the foothills basically. Up there you'll see all sorts of just giant pike minnow, swallowfish, bass, all sorts of stuff. What I saw here fish-wise would always be striped bass. And the striped bass would just follow me around the whole time of diving. A lot of Sacramento suckers, a lot of pike minnows. We'd see freshwater sculpin over here and then tons and tons of crayfish. So, Right, so we got people coming down here. I'm gonna wrap this up and get to the dive footage. Thanks for watching.